Alrighty, so C is Celsius, so degrees Celsius. 100 is, is basically the boiling point of water. And so what's the equivalent temperature in Fahrenheit? Fahrenheit is F, right? So Fahrenheit is typically used in, in the US and some other countries. Celsius is used by most of the rest of the world, Europe and whatnot. Any case, um, C equals 100. So what we're going to do is take this 100 and plug it in for C in the formula. Does that make sense? So we'll have F equals 9 over 5 times 100. So we've just taken 100 and plugged it in for C, right? And then we need to work this out. Okay? So I've got 9 fifths times a whole number. If I'm multiplying like this, shouldn't I change the whole number to a fraction? So you can change that to 100 over 1, right? And you can either cross cancel or you can write this as 900 over 5. Either way is fine. Like a lot of students like to to write that as nine, they multiply the tops 900, multiply the bottoms 5 times 1 is 5, and then simplify. That's fine. You know, you can do that. So 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 9 goes one time remainder 4. What's 5 into 40? 8, good. 5 into 0? Good. So this thing simplifies to 180. But don't forget we still have our plus 32 at the end, right? So 180 plus 32? 212. So 100 degrees Celsius is the same thing as 212 degrees Fahrenheit. In degrees, you put a little circle in the top right here, right? So this is degrees Celsius, that's degrees Fahrenheit, right? Different scales, but they're the same actual temperature. Now, the other way of doing this, by the way, everybody, is we could have cross-canceled. We could have gone 5 into 5 goes once, 5 into 10 goes What's 5 into 10? Twice. 5 into 0? Zero. 0. What's 9 times 2? What's 9 times 20? 9 times 2 is 18, so 9 times 20 is just 180, right? Right. So, so we could have cross-canceled here and then multiplied and we'd get 180 that way also. So you could either multiply tops and bottoms, then simplify, or cross-cancel. Cross-canceling is the, the better way because it's less work, it, you know. But I don't care. I mean, a lot of students, they just love to multiply the tops and bottoms and then simplify. That will work also. All right?